What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski, back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we have another showcase style video with the Super Evolution of Blackbeard. Now this video is not going to be as more in depth as some of the other showcase videos in the past. We do only have three clips in this video but hopefully this is enough to show you guys exactly what Blackbeard is all about. So the fact that Blackbeard received the Super Evolution just in general, I'm actually a big fan of this character on release was a very powerful and he definitely needed a little bit of help and I think that what they've done with the buffs for this character is is gonna suffice I think that they've done a pretty good job in providing the 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 right type of buffs to the character to enable him to be a lot better to see him see a lot of play honestly with the fact that the way this character is built not only is he going to be very good as a captain but he's also going to be a very good crewmate as well due to the buffs that his special ability actually received so of course the character is still an int character and is still a driven powerhouse but the captain ability received a little bit of changes where instead of just being a mono int captain he now will boost the attack of int and strength characters by 4.75 with a 1.75 times health boost and then boosting his own attack by 5.25 times as well as making int and strength slots beneficial to your int and strength characters and then he goes on to say that he will completely remove his own special bind and his own paralysis so that's actually a pretty neat effect too though remember that if he is despaired that this effect of removing his own special bind and his own paralysis will not activate so that is a little bit of a downside and then he goes on to say that if you do receive damage then he reduces his own cooldown by two turns at the start of the next turn now i do want to preface this that my blackbeard is level limit break uh, level uh, level five as well as limit break expanded so he has the best possible stats he does have the lowest possible cooldown so he does have an eight turn cooldown uh, after everything is said and done which is very good for what this character is hoping to achieve right because you want to be launching his special as often as possible um, or at least saving it for those big burst turns which you guys will be seeing in this clip of course now if you do get access to his captain ability you'll access his super type effect now in order to launch the super type you need to boost his attack by over 500 times his base now what this actually means is is that you know anytime you activate an attack boost or an orb boost you have a matching slot or whatever um you know base attack boost all of these things will buff this character's attack obviously and essentially once the attack value of this character has surpassed 500 times the base, then it will be able to be activated. So essentially, once you launch Blackbeard Special, you'll be able to activate the effect because of the huge attack and all boost that he receives. But the actual super type effect is probably one of the most unique and one of the most powerful super type effects that a lot of people don't talk about that much where it will boost his own base attack by 1250 for one turn which is a great base attack boost but then it reduces all enemies beneficial effects by one turn and this is good for so many reasons you guys will be seeing in the final clip of the video like one particular case where it is going to be useful but you know if the enemy has like one turn of resilience or one turn of a barrier or one turn damage immunity whatever it may be you can just use a super type special and remove it and these really weird gimmicky effects that normally you'd have to bring a dedicated character to remove his super type can just deal with that it is niche for sure but the effect itself is still very powerful because not only are you doing that you're also providing a base attack boost to blackbeard himself which makes sense because you want him to be hitting very very hard so the super type effect I am a huge, huge advocate for. Now, definitely one of the more interesting components to these types of characters with their super evolutions and their level limit breaks is going to be their special buffs. What buffs did they receive with their special that makes this character um, either good or really, really bad? So Blackbeard, his special ability is now going to do a 10% health cut that goes through everything, except normal attacks only. He then reduces enemies' damage threshold by seven turns. Now, honestly, now that I'm reading that now, I completely forgot that he actually did this. Uh, I'm not too sure if it actually made a difference in the grand scheme of things, but that's cool that he actually does that. Then he will go ahead and change his own slot, including block, into matching, which before he didn't actually remove block slots on himself, which that's a very nice change. He then says he's going to boost his own attack and his own slot effects for one turn, based on the number of times you use his special before you launch his special. 
So the way that he would used to work is that on the initial activation, Blackbeard would give himself a 2 times attack and a 2 times orb boost. The second activation would be a 3 times, and the third activation would be a 4 times attack and orb boosting effect. So with level limit break and his super evolution, they have given him a significant buff, where the ceiling after the third activation is still a 4 times attack and orb boost, which is still very good to today's day and age. However, what they've done is, is that they have uh, definitely raised the flooring of this special effect, where on the initial activation, you're already getting a 3.5 times attack and all boosting effect, which is such a huge buff. And then the second activation goes from 3.5 to 3.75, and then obviously you have the four times after that. So the reason why this is such a good buff, and a lot of people might see this and think that it's not a very good buff, because like, you know, the, the multipliers didn't really change that much. But you got to think, right, with Blackbeard previously, when you use the special ability, you get a 2 times attack and orb boost. In a lot of cases, that is not going to really carry you over the line. Even a 3 times attack and orb boost in today, um, you, you, you probably want something else extra added on top of that. But the fact that on a first activation, you already get 3.5 attack and orb boost, I mean, it's the same level as Toki, right? But, but it's just for Blackbeard. And then when you get that, you also get access to his super type, which you can give yourself a base attack boost. So adding base attack attack boost and just the base 3.5 attack and orb boost, that's already enough to kill a, a lot of different bosses. And then of course you can go all the way to get that 4 times boost, but honestly if you have type advantage, this 3.5 attack and orb boost in a lot of cases is going to be enough, which is probably one of the best changes, because it means that this character is going to be beating content way quicker than what he was able to do previously, and I think that alone is probably one of the biggest buffs. They've made him faster to beat content, which is great you don't have to you know sit there on some of those earlier stages launching the special two times before you actually get to a boss fight because you need the four times boost instead of the three times boost whereas now you can have a 3.5 boost and you get the really good base attack boost straight off the cuff and you don't even have to worry about it so i i really do like what they've done with this black bit i also like the fact that he now will be boosting strength characters with his captain ability meaning that you can actually get a little bit more team variety so that's always really good to see because Sometimes Mono Int have some really weird stuff, but the fact that you get access to Strength as well is obviously very good, and it probably is a little bit of a callback to his initial release, as the initial release with this guy was Super Type Katakuri, along with Super Type Snake Man and Super Type Sabo, where the whole batch was Strength and Int, so it probably is a little bit of a callback to that. And then of course you guys are seeing just in this clip here we're able to beat your rogue by using the super type special of Blackbeard to remove his damage limiter, meaning that we have uh, no normal attacks only inflicted to the crew so we can do some really cool stuff towards the end of this video. But with all that being said, that is going to wrap it up for me. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I will see you guys within the next video. Shimi was sent. Ima Sarana, you more